Well, since the death of Officer Carrie Orozco, we've heard a number of stories about her involvement in the community, especially her work as a baseball coach. Tonight, the league started their new season without her. But as KETV News Watch 7's Molly Miles shows us, the players and coaches plan to carry on in her memory. In this baseball league, the name on the front of the jersey isn't so important this year. No matter what team they are on, the players are all united by what is on their back. So the kids are all wearing 17. Her call sign was Delta 17. So we just thought, as a tribute to her, we were going to dedicate the entire year to her. All 120 players in the Police Athletics for Community Engagement League wearing the same number in honor of former coach and fallen officer Carrie Orozco. She actually recruited a lot of the teams from the north, recruited the kids, sometimes door to door. She'd see kids on the corner. Pull up and ask them if they want to play on her team. Orozco's old team, the Stars, remember her legacy best. We're playing this game with a carry on our mind. She taught them to catch and throw, to keep their eye on the ball, and more importantly, their eye on their futures. We talked to the kids about how we wanted to represent carry and what that. Teach them a few life skills like sportsmanship and leadership. Don't forget why we're playing. Don't forget the numbers on the back of your jerseys, okay? The mission of the Pace League, to help police strengthen relationships with the community, is something Orozco worked for every day. And organizers say while Carrie can never be replaced, many have stepped up to continue her mission. Our numbers have just increased 50% just based on her coaching and officers wanting to step up and help where she left off. Help teach these kids how to be successful on and off the baseball field. We're going to play our hearts out and just know that she's looking down on us. Molly Miles, KETV News Watch 7. Well, tonight, Orozco's team all signed a baseball that will be auctioned off at a benefit for Carrie Orozco's family. It is a week from this Sunday, June 28th. It's all day long. Starting at 9 a.m., there's a 3K walk and a 5K run in, in Ralston. Then from 11 to 7, live music, food, and a raffle at the Ralston Arena. We have all of the information posted right now on KETV.com. Some Omaha police officers and their families came together today honoring their commitment to our city and marking promotions within the department. Eight officers earned new ranks today, five to sergeant, two to lieutenant, and one to captain. Now Sergeant Marcus Taylor says this is a way for him to continue his dream of serving Omaha. It's just my passion. Um, I've always seen the need. I've um, always seen the need now, um, especially um, for, for good leadership. I think we've been blessed. Um, and just for the time that I've had on at this point. Taylor added he tries to carry Officer Carrie Orozco's legacy forward every day.